Hello guys, um, today we're going to paint monstrous flesh and uh, I'm going to show you how to paint you know that that blue hue that all of you people have been asking for uh, with a paratrol. Now I know the paratrol uh, its usual scheme isn't exactly blue but I like blue so that's what I'm going to do. Um, there, if you can see on the close cam the uh, the pyrotrol here that I've built and primed in my usual fashion. There. So let's start. We're going to paint his flesh with, um, I think, yes, a mix of great coat grey from Private Your Press. Oh, let me show you. Here, that's my palette. A little bit of yeah, frumpy, but otherwise okay. <coughs> That's the great coat grey. That's going to be our darker hue for the main flesh color. It's going to be troll blood base. Again, a P3 private press color. It's quite, quite beautiful. There. Since this is a wet palette and colors do not dry very easily on it, I can afford to put on all the main colors I'm going to use, including the highlighting, which will only take place later on going to use this yes there is underbelly blue a special troll blood color from private Air press which is quite beautiful in my opinion sort of a very bluish greenish gray almost water type gray it is not too bad and this is Troll Blood Highlight, which is a little warmer and gives your Troll Bloods this interesting mix of a cold skin color that still feels warm when you look at it, still feels alive, so to speak. See, this is a warmer color, it is a little more yellow perhaps there um, here I have a very scruffy brush that's a number one brush that's my old number one brush I like it you know I use it for when I don't need any um, special treatment on a miniature that's uh, that's what I use it's also good for dry brushing that sort of thing so I'm going to use uh, a bit of those two colors like that, a uh, uh, slight mix of the two for my base coat. Let's see, there. And as usual with this priming method, my base coat is pretty much a wash and we're going to do away with the flesh of that troll blood if you notice he has little spines on his back we're not touching that right now I mean I might paint over them by mistake, but it's perfectly all right. We'll go over it again with other colors. See how the coat is slightly transparent so that I still can see the, the uh, priming un underneath. I'm sorry, this miniature is a little big so it's a bit tough to keep it in 
the under the closed cam range and so, so that you can see pretty much everything I'm doing there's a, needs a little blue in between the flames now the pyrotrol is supposed to have a, a darker purplish skin tone I like purple but you know this is better in my opinion because many of you have requested this troll blood tutorial and uh, I still want to give him a little darker hue for his flesh a little darker than expected perhaps we're done with the base coat for the troll blood flesh <coughs> Now, I think we'll need, yes, we'll use pure troll blood base to highlight it just a tad. Just on the raised areas on top where the Well, the light falls upon. Yes, A little on his neck there. Little on his face. On his knee. Perhaps here on his leg as it is a little more well lit than the rest. foot although it is in shadows I mean it is a somewhat upper area there now as you can see Troll blood's flesh here. As you can see, the troll blood's flesh is um, pretty much well base coated and slightly shaded. Now I'm going to mix here, let me show you. I'm going to mix a little of this underbelly blue here with a little grey the great coat grey so that we can have a nice greyish color and we'll use that for the belly quite obviously a little too much paint on my brush but never mind there. Oh, I'll get some on his pectoral muscles as well. His little abdominals here. Yes. That's fine. Perhaps here, just under the bicep. And... Mm, well, I guess, perhaps a bit behind his legs. I'm guessing that uh, behind his legs, that's also 
a bit white, a bit bluish, that sort of thing. I'll get a little more of the underbelly blue in the mix and highlight this. We are not being too precise at this point. As you can see, we're just painting away in large dabs, not especially uh, cautious or precise. Precision will come later. You see, for monstrous skin, you just do. Uh, it, it's interesting when you, you do large, irregular, blended um, areas, and then, and only then, you can detail stuff. But cheating a bit with the light here, because technically this isn't well-lit area but still oh, there's a little bit too much water here I think I'll have to drain it with my brush there never mind that still his belly needs light it's almost a dry brush except it's wet, really. Right. Now we're going to use here, we'll, we'll let it dry a little, just a tad. Okay, so now we're going to do a little shading with that very fine 3-0 brush because I'm going to have a little detail to shade that whole shebang we're going to use this 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 one this great coat gray here so we're shading here in the recesses of the face this is a wash by the way a thin wash almost a glaze that I am only pulling with my brush in the recesses and in, in the creases made by the muscles of this creature. The more washes you do, the more thin glazes you do, and the better the result will be. I'm only going to do a few of those for the purpose of this tutorial because otherwise it will take a tremendous amount of time and this is just to show you the gist of what we can do here I'm also shading the belly a bit I'm sorry, there, see, only shading around the belly like so, and here, because, and just to, to define the muscles, there's little, little fibers going on here. And then there is shading to be done right there right here
there are lots of folds and creases in the muscles of his neck. Here there's a nice little crease right underneath here there's shadows and muscles here I'm going to delineate this muscle a little more we just follow the the sculpting of the of the miniature you see you don't really have to to think about it well you do have to think about it a little because you do have to mind where the light is coming from but then that's it really that needs a little gray I think that needs slightly more highlighting in between the, the chains there I forgot perhaps to do that although we will sort that out later all right still going on with the gray I'm doing that leg There's a shadow here behind that muscle. I don't know if you can quite see that here. These are subtle glazes, not painting much, but it is noticeable. You do thin glazes over time, it builds up and voila, you get shade shades blended in that is how you do things yeah i think we should put a little shade here shadows near the ankle and the shin that foot needs shadowing we're continuing on with the gray shading it's great good gray by the way right behind this ankle little bit of gray on the foot just for show little bit of gray under this muscle just a tad here because here on this side there's there's muscle here so I'm going to do it in those creases basically only in the creases and uh, here, the inner thigh. Here, there's lots of those creases here. There. Going to get that muscle right here. And here. There. Now we're going to highlight the troll blood's flesh a little more. And to do so, we are going to use this troll blood highlight and a little bit of this troll blood base let's 
mix it a bit. See, beautiful, beautiful mix. Then again, it's not surprising as these two colors were made to mix together. Now, if you don't have any of those Privateer yeah, Press colors, such as Troll Blood Base or Troll Blood Highlight and that sort of thing, um, although I do recommend that you get them because they're beautiful and they will get used for other projects of yours, not necessarily Troll Blood, you can get them uh, by fiddling a bit with uh, blue gray with a teal and perhaps cold grey. Fiddle about, experiment with mixes and you'll see you'll get there. As you can see now I am highlighting the skin with a mix of troll blood base and troll blood highlight. It is slightly clearer I'm just putting some on the edges of the muscle where the light shines. And there, on his neck, there's some light here. I'm using a somewhat dilute paint instead, uh, as opposed to uh, to pure, pure pigments. I think we'll get some highlight here on his face carefully. Troll bloods have no nose. At least I don't think so. I've never seen a nose on any of the troll bloods miniature or trollkins. They might have nostrils, some of them, but no nose. How do they smell, do you ask? Presumably awful. I know, I know, that's a Monty Python joke. Uh, that needs more highlighting. Bit more, yes, bit more. I'm adding a little of the troll blood highlight to my mix so as to so as to get something a little clearer. There. much better. I think this needs a little more troll blood base here in the creases of this hand. I don't know, a little more blue, you know, that sort of thing. Whatever. Here, a little more highlighting here on his cheeks, his eyebrows, his neck. And always remember, we're doing glazes, we're doing mixing, we're doing blending. So thin glazes, everyone, thin glazes.
Patience is key. Patience and a fine brush. I'm using a 3-0 brush at the moment. There. Beautiful. And now for the legs. Here, I think the light shines a little here. Oof, that's a little bit too much paint, but never mind. We'll blend that right in. While it's still a bit fresh. There, here. It's a little dot of light here. See, as it dries, it blends in. A little bit too much water there. Never mind. Here. It's all better now. See? That leg. The light is coming from behind it, so it's highlighted that way. The other leg is well, pretty much the same, except I do think it's a little bit more contrast. So this needs to be in shadow, and that needs to be lit. Perhaps a little bit more blue on the bottom here. And still a little bit more grey. Just to blend this thing in here. There. Beautiful. here I should think yes there now this in front well it's pretty much hidden but I think this needs a little light the knee there we are cheating a little with the light here because we want to be able to see many of the details of our troll blood and still even when it's not logical for us to do so you see yeah there here, a little more highlighting on the side of the jaw. That sort of thing. Right, as you can see the flesh tone for that troll blood is pretty much done, although I'm not quite satisfied with the belly. I'm going to highlight it a little more with pure underbelly blue. 
here. Yes, much better. So here we have a sort of a darker trollish color. It's not too bad, I think. Yeah. There you have it, troll blood flesh. Mm -hmm.